Hello guys, this is Raven from Digi Integrity. Welcome to Startup News Episode One. Zomato said its operational revenue increased by 22 percentage to rupees 844 crore in April June, while net losses rose over 168 percentage from the previous quarter to rupees 360 crore. As a food delivery platform presented its maiden quarterly earning as a public company on Tuesday, while rupees 806 crore of operational revenue came from India, the revenue of rupees 31 crore was logged from the UAE and the balance from the other markets. Lenskart plans to hire more than 2000 people by next year as an omni-channel IBR retailer embarks on expansion in India as well as in overseas. Around 1500 people will be hired to manage retail stores while more than 100 engineers will be brought on board for its technology team in Bengaluru, Delhi and CR in Hyderabad. The SoftBank backed company will also hire around 300 people for its supply chain and manufacturing operation along with 100 others in incorporate functions such as finance, consumer insights, human resources and merchandising. Make my trip has exited from IPO bond travel app Exigo. The Nasdaq listed company said in filings to the US Security and Exchange Commission clocking 8 times return on its initial investment. The secondary transaction was worth 38.5 million US dollars with investors including Trifacta Leaders Fund 1, Pay Capital, Malabar Investments and White Oak buying of its stake. Founders of homegrown startups like Byju Scred Urban Company and Bharat Pay have jointly written to Prime Minister Narendra Modi urging the government to allow direct overseas listing of Indian companies. In their letter the founders pointed out that the current inability of unlisted companies to tap international market for rising capital. These letters were signed by all the CEOs. The entrepreneurs emphasized that such a move will be a single most significant big bang reform for the startup ecosystem and will instantly pave the way for many Indian companies to be on the global map Indian bank to fund debt capital to IIM Bangalore startups this move will help startups get working capital and a growth capital without diluting equity early in their life cycle according to the director of IIM Bangalore the institute aims to provide a support system to young ventures the incubation and entrepreneurial center for early stage companies that demonstrate a potential to innovate implement and create social and financial impact Amazon India is enabling pickups from more retail outlets from its online grocery orders. This comes at a time when the e-grocery space is witnessing intense competition among Tata owned Big Basket, Walmart owned Flipkart, Groofers and Reliance Industries Jio Mart battling for bigger chunks of the market. The US based e-commerce firm is doing in India what it has to be done with the Whole Foods in the United States, where a consumer can order an Amazon Fresh online and pick it up from the nearest Whole Foods store in the selected cities. In 2017 Amazon acquired Whole Foods for over 13 billion US dollars. Amazon Fresh online grocery orders in Bangalore can now be picked from the nearest Moore store within 2 to 3 hours. This service has gone live across many PIN codes in the city. Unlike most e-commerce deliveries, cash on delivery is not permitted for this order yet. Amazon Free Store pickup for online grocery order is adding another model to the hyper local play for e-grocery orders and deliveries. API Holding Private Limited owner of the India's largest online pharmacy Farm Easy is considering a Mumbai initial public offering that could raise as much as 1 billion dollars the company was backed by TPG and Tmasek Holding is working with advisors on a potential offering that could take place by March 2022 this firms plan to file a draft prospects before the end of the October Farm Easy has so far delivered more than 15 million orders from medicines to diagnostic kits to healthcare products serving over 5 million families according to its website it is a delivery service covered more than 1000 indian cities the company in june bought a majority stake in thyrocare technologies limited for 45.5 billion rupees that is around 611 million dollars api holding raised around 420 million dollars in june funding round valuing the company of about 4.1 billion dollars Legal Pay India's first and only third party litigation funding platform that has launched an alternative investment product for retail investors investors can invest and diversify across a basket of cases for as little as 25000 indian rupees only ByteDance Corporation the Chinese owner of the short video platform TikTok have revived its plan to launch its initial public offering and listing in Hong Kong by early 2022 but we can expect a final guidance from ByteDance in September they are submitting all the filing with Chinese authorities right now and are going through the review processes 
Early stage investors Stellaris Venture Partners said it has raised over 225 million dollars for its second India dedicated fund coinciding with an unprecedented funding environment fueling the domestic startup and technology sector. The corpus mopped up by Stellaris is almost 3 times the size of its 90 million dollars maiden fund launched 4 years ago. This makes a 4 year old Bangalore firm among the largest in the C2 series A stage funds in India. A segment which has been heightened interest over the past few years. Yes. Chinese e-commerce giant Alibaba Group Holding Limited has fired a manager who sexually assaulted a female employee and will establish policies to prevent sexual harassment. This was said by Chief Executive Officer Daniel Zhang. Thanks for watching this video. Please kindly support my channel by giving a like, share and subscribe and follow Digi Integrity on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.